Today's journey takes us into the fascinating realm of RAG Retrieval Augmented Generation with Autogen. We'll explore how to effectively use vector stores to empower our AI agents, transforming them into knowledgeable entities capable of answering intricate queries. In this video, we're assuming you're already familiar with the basics of RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. If you're not quite there yet, don't worry. We've got you covered with a previous video where we delve into the fundamentals of RAG. You can find the link to that video in the description below. Before we roll up our sleeves for some Python coding, let's first understand the clever dance of retrieval augmentation in Autogen. Imagine two digital maestros working in tandem. One, the retrieval augmented user proxy, armed with a vast library of chunked data, and the other, the retrieval augmented assistant, wielding the power of language models. The dance begins with a question, and the user proxy dives into its database, fetching pieces of information most relevant to the query. These golden nuggets of data are then whisked away to the assistant, who crafts an answer, or when stumped, sends back a, please explain further. The proxy might then run any code, giving feedback, or fetching more context if needed, in a back and forth until a satisfying answer is shaped, or they hit the limits of their knowledge library. It's a performance of retrieval, generation, and iteration, leading to the final bow of a terminate or an encore request for update context. Now, with a solid grasp of the retrieval augmented process, let's transition from concept to code and bring these principles to life with Python. As always, we start by setting up a virtual environment to cleanly separate our dependencies. Then we roll up our sleeves to create a shiny new app.py file and proceed to install the necessities, which in this instance is Autogen flaunting its retrieve chat feature. In our app.py, we now carry out the necessary imports, which would be retrieve assistant agent and retrieve user proxy agent. Subsequently, we create our LLM config, and as always, we store it in a JSON file named OAI config list. It contains our model. We want to use GPT-4 Turbo, as well as our API key. Next, we create our retrieve assistant agent. This agent receives a name and a system message, as well as an LLM config. Then comes the creation of our retrieve user proxy agent, tasked with the noble endeavor of fetching data from the vector store as if it were seeking treasure in a digital ocean. We also give it a name and then a retrieve config. We set the task to Q&A and give it docs path. This can be either a URL or a file name where it finds the information to store in a vector store. We start with a readme for Autogen, which is very current and significantly more up-to-date than the version currently available with ChatGPT. Invoking reset before initiating a new chat session with user proxy ensures that the assistant agent is in a clean state. We then initiate our chat with initialize chat and provide it with the message through the keyword problem. Our question is, what are multi-agent conversations? Let's give it a try. It first sets up a collection in the vector store. And here we see the successful answer. We want to try it with another example as well. We turn our problem into a typical question that the customer support portal often receives. What is the time frame for returning an item? In order to equip our agent with the knowledge to answer queries, we must first supply it with a rich database of past questions and answers. This is achieved by giving the agent access to a text file, which serves as a foundational knowledge base from which the agent can draw information to respond accurately. We'll update the problem statement. A quick tweak of docs path is all it takes to set the gears in motion once more.
and we see the answer within 30 days, which was successfully transferred from the document into the vector store and then retrieved from it. Let's take a moment to celebrate our successful customer support response. It's a small victory in our journey of mastering RAG and Autogen. Now, if you're eager to dive deeper into this fascinating world, remember to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Your engagement fuels our passion for creating more content like this.